Hey guys, it's Cobalt here, and welcome back to another video. I've been making a lot of videos about the new LPS release because, like everybody, I am so, so excited for it. But something even more exciting happened. At the beginning of December, someone from Basic Fun, the company behind the new release of Lilith's Pet Shops, reached out to me over on Instagram asking if I wanted to collab and make some videos promoting the new products. And I said, yes, absolutely. So here we are. This is actually happening. Basic Fun sent me free Lilith's Pet Shops to review for you guys, and I am so so excited. So huge, huge, huge thank you to Basic Fun. This means so much to me. They are not paying me to say anything about these products. It is simply an honest review. They just sent me all these pets for free. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Here is the box. Let's get it open. Oops, sorry, Cobalt. Oh my god, I see them. It's upside down, but here it is. This is not real, this is not real, oh my god. Okay, before we take a look at the blind boxes and open the pets themselves, there's actually something else in this package, something extra that they sent me. It is an LPS fanny pack with the new LPS logo on it. That is so cool. And I think there's stuff inside, it feels like there's something inside, so let's open it. Oh yes, there is stickers and pins oh my god no way i thought these were going to be like the same stickers and pins that they gave out for free at lps con but these are different there are some that are the same here's another one of the new little pet shop logo stickers we got a pin as well but everything else i think is different except for this one this was also at lps con but this one wasn't it's the little bug that is so cute and we also got the poodle not the biggest fan of this one but i still think this is a really cool pin and there's a whole bunch of stickers oh my gosh are these stickers of all the pets we got the anteater the purple panda. I love these stickers. The quality feels so nice. The lioness. I love this one. The corgi. So cute. Very, very fancy. The Himalayan cat. The shark. Yes. Best LPS. Oh, and finally, we got another one of the panda stickers that they handed out at LPS Con as well. That is so cool. I was not expecting extra things to be in here. I thought it was just going to be the pets. So thank you so much, Basic Fun. That's awesome. Now let's take a look at the blind boxes. If I wait any longer, I'm going to explode. Guys, here it is. All 18 pets, no repeats. The packaging looks amazing. This is the same exact thing you can order on Amazon. You can also order mystery three packs of the pets if you don't want all 18 of them. And there's also this little friend in here who's trapped in the package. You can figure out super easily. Dude, my hand is literally shaking. So here's a little overview of the package. You can see all of the blind boxes sitting neatly in here. And at the bottom of the display, you can see all 18 pets that you can collect, as well as the new Basic Fun mascot, which is so adorable. And of course, we have the little display kitty right here. So if you buy the whole set, you will get two of her. On the side of the box, we also have some adorable artwork featuring some of the pets. And on the other side, we have the new slogan and some advertisement for the Roblox game. I absolutely love the design for the packaging. I think everything is so cute, and I am so excited for these pets so let's get started and here is what one of the blind boxes looks like it's actually a lot smaller than i thought it would be especially like the width of it isn't super big it's pretty flat and we have a lot of the same artwork from the display box is on this box as well so let's open this one at the bottom they also have little serial codes right here and on the screen i'll put a picture of the ones that correspond to each pet so you don't have to worry about getting any duplicates or searching forever for the one that you want all right so to open it uh, I just kind of broke it. Oh, there's tape. Okay, well, we're just going to destroy this box to get it open, and we will do a nicer job of the next one. Okay, so that's everything out of the box. The first thing that came out is one of the checklists, so before we see which pet we got, let's take a look at that. Here is the little checklist or collector's guide, and here is everything inside. Oh, this is so nostalgic. Look at all of the pets. I want all of them, and they all look absolutely amazing. They're so cute. And there's even more on the back along with this to help categorize each pet. Here's some more of them. So, so adorable. There's over 65 pets to collect and here is another little advertisement for the roblox game and speaking of the roblox game all of these pets come with a code which you can redeem on roblox i don't really play the game too much so if you want to use the code here it is and here is what the other side of the coin looks like it's just made of cardboard and finally the card oh we got the clydesdale horse i've never owned one of these horse molds before so this is going to be so cute this one is friendliest level one and core this is pet number three 
free. I also absolutely love the use of plastic free packaging here. And first off, we have the accessory. It is a little bucket, which is super adorable. And here is the LPS. This one looks so good. I love the tail. The paint job looks amazing. The eyes look pretty good. They're a little bit grainy, but it's not terrible. You can kind of see it more on this eye than the other one. But the actual paint on the body is not too bad. And the head is a little squishy, but this one's still pretty hard plastic. And now for the walking test. Yep, that feels like a G2 LPS. Oh my gosh. Here's the bottom. There's the serial code that matches the box. All of the blind box pets are pretty simple, but I do love the inclusion of the little marking on each of them to correspond with their symbols. So on this one, we have a little heart, kind of like a cutie mark on it, I guess. And here it is with its little accessory. So now let's get on to the next box. All right, I do want to try to save at least one of these because I think the packaging is super cute. So I'm just going to cut this tape here. All right, I still kind of ripped it a little bit, but I did get this one open a little bit better than the last one. I wish they were easier to open, but this is also a good way to prevent theft. When we open it, there is a little piece of cardboard here, and you can see the pet is wrapped up inside, and then we have the checklist and the card and the coin right here. Here is the next code if you want to redeem this, and for this pet, we got the little bird, <laughs> and this one is a Sportius level 1 core, number 9. This one comes with a really cool surfboard. And here is the LPS. It is so cute and adorable. I have also never owned a pet with this mold before. Right off the bat, I am noticing that the whites of this one's eyes are a little bit yellowed, and I think that's because it was probably printed over the yellow design on its face. So I'm not sure if that will be consistent with all of these pets, but it's not terrible, and I think that it's still very cute. And I love the way that the lightning bolt on this one is worked into the design of its face. I think it's really unique. All right, so now we know how to open them. I'm going to be going through the rest of them a little bit faster. Here is the code for this pet and the one that we got is the basic fun panda this is one of the ones that i'm most excited for it is a friendliest level 2 exotic pet and of course this is lps number one here it is look at how adorable this guy is here's a little bamboo accessory it feels a bit different than the bamboo accessories we had in the past but i love the design of it i think this is a great accessory and i absolutely love how cute this panda is i think this panda mold might be a little bit different than the general 2 panda mold and one of the reasons why I think that is because on the bottom this one actually says 2023 and some of the reused molds still say the original date like 2009 or 2007 but either way I think that she is so so cute I love the little hearts and this is also one of the only pets that has a different shaped eye shine. Here is the next Roblox code, and the pet that we got this time is the bull. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a Sportius level one core pet, and it is number five. Ooh, the trophy is very cold. <laughs> Here is the trophy that it comes with, very similar to the LPS trophy we had in the past. The plastic feels a little bit cheaper, but not in a negative way. And then of course, here is the bull. He looks amazing. The design is very similar to the generation two bull, but it's still different different and unique. He also has a lightning bolt on both sides of his body, which I think is very cool. And I do love the inclusion of a light gradient on his face. I think that makes him look very cute. But again, this one's eyes are a little bit more grainy than the other two pets, but I don't think that's a huge distraction from the overall quality of the pet. Here is the next code, and here is the next pet. Oh no, we got the scary bunny. This is number eight, Chilius level one and core. I think this is probably my least favorite LPS from probably all of the ones that basic one has released so far but i do really like the accessory that it comes with so let's see how the lps looks time for the reveal oh no i think my problem with this pet is that her eyes are so big that it just stares into your soul and i don't really know how to feel about that i feel like there's not very much white in this one's eyes but it does have these little snowflakes on its cheek which is pretty cute and i think that gives it a nice wintry feel so i don't dislike it as much as i thought i did let's try on her little scarf fits on on pretty easily and that definitely makes her a lot cuter but still probably my least favorite that we've gotten so far next blind box is the last one from the first row of the case here is the code that comes with this pet and we got the lioness this is another one of my favorites she is number 18 so technically the last one in the blind box series and she's a hungriest level 2 exotic pet i'm very excited about this one and i love her accessory here she is she is very simple but i think it works really well for this design and she is super pretty here is the accessory that she comes with. It is a potted plant. I've always wanted one of these, but never had it. I think it will be great for videos, and it just looks super cute with this LPS. I love the colors. I don't really think we've ever seen a base that is this shade of orange before. And the same with her eyes. We don't really get a lot of pets with orange eyes, so I love that a lot. 
This one's head is a lot squishier than the other ones that we felt. She's actually very squishy. But you can't really feel it when you're just holding the LPS like normal. You really have to squish it to find out. I still think she's cute though. Here is the next Roblox code. And the next pet that we have is the Corgi. This is one of the ones that I was super excited for when Basic Fun first started showing off the new LPS. This LPS is number 12 and it is a fanciest level one core. Here is the crown accessory that it comes with. It is very big, but I guess that makes sense because this LPS has a very big head. Ooh, I love the color of this one. It's a lot more like sandy than I thought it would be. I think it's super cute. I already love this one so much. Let's put the crown on it. The crown fits very well. This LPS looks so adorable and regal. The crown does make its head tilt down a little bit, but it still is cute. The plastic of the crown is a bit malleable and bendy, and this LPS has a little bit of a squishy head, but not too bad. I love the design of this one, though. I love the way it's painted. Again, I love how this diamond design is worked into the actual pattern of the LPS. Here's the code for the next pet, and... We got the otter. This one is so cute. Number seven, friendliest, level two, and exotic. I can't wait to see this one. I've also never owned an otter LPS before, so I'm very excited about this one. Her little tail is poking through. Here are the binoculars that she comes with, and here she is. Absolutely adorable. The head to body ratio on this one, the colors are a little bit different. You can see the head is more vibrant than the body. It's less noticeable in real life, but I still thought I would point that out. She's so cute though. She has little tiny hearts in her ears, and I never noticed this, but there's kind of a heart shape here on the little legs, which I think is cute as well. And here are the binoculars. You can just fit them around her body like this, so it looks like she's wearing them, which I think is a super cute touch. And I love the color of this one's eyes. I think the quality of these ones are pretty good, especially the white highlight in both eyes. They look very clear. So this is probably one of the best ones that we've gotten so far. This pet feels very big. Here is the next code. Let's see who we're gonna get. It's the walrus. No wonder it feels big. This is number 17, chilliest, level three, and rare. We got another little bucket accessory. Let's see if it's the same as the one that the horse comes with. Yep, they both feel the same and look the same, but they are different colors. And here is the LPS. I actually love this one so much. I think the snowflakes are super cool on this guy. I love the color of the eyes and I love the color of the plastic. Again, I don't think we've ever really seen this color on an LPS before. And I think walruses are honestly really underrated LPS. And very interestingly, on the bottom, this guy even says 2008. So it is the exact same mold as the 2008 version. The only thing that I wish was different about this pet is I wish his nose was painted. I think that would make him a little bit cuter, but other than that, I love it a lot. Here is the next code. And here we're getting the poodle. This is probably another one of my least favorites, to be honest. But I still like her colors. This is number two, sassiest, level one, and core. The accessory that she comes with is a little hairbrush, which looks very similar to a G2 hairbrush, but a little bit different. And here is the pet. Seeing her in real life, I do think I like her a little bit better. I love the little tiny stars here. It reminds me of the hearts on the panda. And I do like the way that her purple eyes complement the hair. But in general, I'm not really the biggest fan of this mold, so let me know what you think about her. But I do like how the accessory matches her bows. I think that is a cute touch as well. Here is the next code and I see something green peeking through the package. I wonder if that means we're gonna get the chameleon. Oh no, it's the bug. He is number six, sassiest level one core. I love the picture with the little flowers. That's so cute. And he comes with a little green drink. And here it is. Another base figure I have never owned before. This one is so silly looking. I love his little body. So this is the centipede. Again, you can see the little LPS mark on the back. I wish the eyes weren't the same color as the body. I think purple eyes would actually look really cute for this LPS, but overall I still like it and I do love the way that the star pattern is although the star on mine is pretty faded so I wish that was brighter as well like the paint job on the body but here he is with his little drink very very cute and this one's head is pretty hard last blind box for the second row so we're almost done here is the next virtual code and the next pet we are going to be seeing is the purple panda this is number 16 friendliest level 2 and exotic as much as I love the normal basic fun panda honestly I think this variant of it is super adorable. We got another bamboo accessory, and this one is exactly the same as the one that comes with the other panda, but here's the purple version. I think she's adorable. I love how vibrant the colors are and how bright the paint on her nose is, and here's how it looks next to the other one. She's actually a little bit taller than the gray one, but they're both very, very cute. They could be like sisters or cousins or something. All right, time for the final row. I had to move all of the pets out of the background so that we can access these, but I'm so excited. All right, next blind box. 
sucks. Here is the code for this one, and the pet that we got is the Anteater. This is number 15, Sassiest, level 3, and rare. The accessory that it comes with is a banana. It's a little bit differently shaped than the ones that we've seen before, and I do wish that the tip of the banana was painted, but I still think this is a cool accessory. And here is the Anteater with a backwards head. Let's fix that. Here they are. I love the little stars on the side, and there's a star pattern on both sides of it, but what I do like is that it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's a little bit different on both sides, as you can see. The plastic on this one's head feels a bit strange. I'm not sure how to describe it. It is very hard, but just the texture that I'm feeling right now is a little bit different than what I would say the other LPS feel like. Still cute, though. This one's eyes are really, really good quality, and I love the way that the green color complements the pink base. I think that is absolutely adorable. And its head is so bobbly. Look at that. Here is the next code, and the next pet is the cat. So if you buy the entire set, you get this cat twice because she's also trapped inside the box. And even if you get her twice, I do not mind at all because this LPS is so cute and I love the two different colored eyes. Here is the little drink that she comes with. It's a little lemonade. Again, I think the two colored eyes are just so cool and I love the colors of them. She also has a nice gradient on her face, which is cool to see that in some of the pets. I wish there was a little bit more detail to her body. I think it would have been cute if her paw pads on her back feet were painted or maybe even the fluff around her neck. But this is another mold that I have never owned, so I think she's very cute and I'm so glad to finally have one. This one has two little flower shapes in her ears. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I don't think it really works with the rest of the design, but she's still really cute. Here is the next code, and I see green peeking through the package again, so I think that means we actually got the chameleon this time. And yes, I'm correct. This is number 13, Hungriest Level 1 and Core. We got yet another bamboo accessory, which is exactly the same as the one that comes with both pandas. And here is the chameleon, another LPS that I have never owned, but I've always wanted a chameleon. They are so cute. I love the way that this face just feels, like with the texturing around its eyes. I think that is so unique and cool. I love the little spikes. I think it's adorable. And I think this design translated really well from the original Chameleon because obviously this one is quite similar, but I think it's really cool. And I love the little teardrop shapes that it has going on. So, so cute. And the way that its hand is positioned, you can sort of make it hold the bamboo a little bit with his little grabby hand, which I love. Here is the third to last code. And the pet is the Spaniel. This is number 10, Sassiest Level 1 and Core. This is another one that I'm super excited for. The accessory that this one comes with is a little sailboat to match the picture on her card. And here she is. I love this pet so much. Her eyes are kind of pointing in two different directions, but it's fine. We still love her for it. I think the design of this one is super cool. The paint job on this ear is pretty good, but on the other ear, it's a little bit messier. I do love her white paws, though. I think that's a very cute detail. And this one's eyes are a bit grainier, but I love the color of them. So I am still super, super happy to have this pet. And as an LPS customizer, I am super glad that Basic Fun is making more of this mold because I love this one so much. The body especially is so fun to paint. Second to last one, here we go. Here is the second to last code. And the second to last pet is the Pelican. This one is number 11, Chiliest Level 2 and Exotic. I don't really know how a pink Pelican fits with the Chiliest vibe, but let's take a look at it anyways. Here's the accessory that this one comes with. It's a little fish bone. I love this accessory a lot. And here is the pelican. I know in all the photos that we've seen so far, this one definitely had the grainiest eyes, and they are still pretty grainy, especially on the edges. This one I think is maybe a little bit worse, but it's not as bad. You kind of have to look at it really closely. Even in real life, this is probably the one with the most grainiest eyes, but it is a pelican, so it's not like most people are going to be going after this one anyways. I think a lot of people like the cats and dogs better, at least that's how I am personally, but I still think this one's cute. I don't think we've ever had a pink pelican before, so I think that's very unique, and I still like it. And here are the little snowflakes on this one's head. Again, I don't really feel like this fits very well with the walrus and the bunny, but still cute. And now for the final pet. I don't even remember which one this is going to be, so I'm excited to find out. Here is the final code for this video, and the final pet. Drum roll, please. We have the shark. Oh my gosh, I say best for last. It's the shark. This is number 14, Sporius level one core. I love shark LPS. I'm so excited for this one. This guy also comes with the same surfboard as the bird. And here is the shark. Oh, this one is even better in real life. I love the color of this one. This one's eyes are super clear. I think the lightning bolt on both of the fins is a super cute touch. This one's amazing. I love how bright it is too. Like with all of these pets, I love how vibrant and bright their colors are. That's probably 
one of my favorite parts. All right, guys, so here are all 18 of the pets that we got. Technically, if you buy a full case, you get 19 pets because you get the Himalayan cat twice, but I just love all of these so much. They are amazing. Again, I love how vibrant they are. I also love that basic fun is using some more uncommon molds. I think that's very interesting, and I think it's really cool. Even though they're not the rare main five pets that everybody loves, I think it still shows how excited everybody is for the new LPS because we are all watering at the mouth for even the weird bunny. Like, we still want it because it's a brand new LPS. And maybe she's kind of cute, I guess. But yeah, I think all these pets are super unique. They all look very different from each other, which I really appreciate. I'd say my biggest complaint is probably with the accessories. I still love all the accessories that we got, but there are a lot of repeats, which I didn't realize. Like, we don't really need two surfboards or three bamboo pieces. I definitely prefer the bamboo over the surfboards, but either way, I still think that all these pets should probably come with their own unique accessories. And I would love to see more original accessories like the scarf and the crown. I love seeing brand new accessories that we've never had before. Again, Basic Fun has not told me anything to sway my opinion about these pets. This opinion is 100% my own. I am really just so happy to have LPS back in my hands and back in stores. I still can't believe it's happening, and I still can't believe that I got all these pets sent to me for free. Seriously, Basic Fun, I think your company is amazing. I mean, come on, this is the same company that makes light brights. I love light brights, and I love LPS too, so I'm very glad that Basic Fun got their hands on the rights to these amazing toys and are listening so closely to the LPS community and taking all of our feedback and just really wanting to be involved with everybody. I think that's so awesome. And again, seriously, Basic Fun, thank you so, so, so much for sending me all of these products, as well as the little extra goodies. I just appreciate that so much. That's so cool of you guys. So hopefully in the future, I can work with Basic Fun again. I definitely would love to. And I have a few other videos planned with these LPS, so keep your eyes peeled for that later this week. Let me know down below in the comments which of these pets was your favorite and which one you are most excited to get. If you live in the US, all these pets should be available now in stores, but if you can't find them, they are all available on Amazon. I will put that link in the description. And if you live internationally, LPS will be releasing globally throughout the year of 2024. So be sure to keep your eyes on the lookout for that. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. I seriously would not have gotten this opportunity without all of your support. So I mean it. Thank you. But anyways, that's it for this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! Bye.